Hello and welcome to this brief introduction to using Hawaii Color, the groundbreaking new grading plugin for Final Cut Pro 10 from Tokyo Productions and Lawn Road, available exclusively through FX Factory. There's a lot to show you in Hawaii Color and you can achieve some really sophisticated results, but it's also very simple to dive right in and use. The first thing you'll notice when you add the plugin to your shot is the custom interface with all the key grading tools ready to hand. To give you a clearer idea of how this all works, I'm going to switch to my secondary display, but it works every bit as well with a single display. One of the key features of Hawaii Color is the set of three large and tactile color wheels that offer fine-grained, industry-standard control over your grade. But let's first take a look at the temperature section which is a great place to begin work on your shot, especially if your camera's white balance wasn't set correctly. Looking at this shot, the white balance was correct in camera, but we can still get a lot of value out of these controls. Because the shot feels a little too warm for my liking, I'm going to adjust the midtones as well as the lows or shadow areas. Dragging downwards cools down the image, while dragging upwards adds warmth as you can see from the colour of the slider graphics. Now my shot is balanced, I want to add a bit more punch, so I'm going to adjust the mid-tone exposure slider to reduce the gamma. That gives a lot more density and saturation without losing information in the blacks. Let's also boost the highlights just a fraction. Now let's move on to the colour wheels, where we can really start building the look for our shot. It's a good idea to aim for a strong colour contrast in your grade, so I'm going to add a little blue in the shadows. And let's boost the warmth and saturation of the green background by pushing the mid-tones somewhere between green and yellow. Finally, we'll adjust the highlights to accentuate the red and magenta in the flowers. I'm going to increase the saturation of the mid-tones as well as the shadows but I'll leave my whites just as they are. And finally, a tweak on the global exposure to bring the level down just a little. Let's finally add some gloss by using the sharpness control to really bring out those fine details. Note that if I want to reset any of the sliders to their defaults, all I have to do is hold down the Option key and click on the relevant control. To finish, all I need to do is hit Commit Grade in the inspector and the grading interface goes away, locking the grade. There's plenty more we haven't looked at. Up here we have Hue Control, a Contrast Control and a Blur Control, as well as the Sharpness filter that we used just now. In the inspector, as well as green magenta controls for white balance, we have controls for some of the individual bands that are not included on screen, including low, mid and high controls for contrast, blur and sharpness. Also in the inspector, you've got lots of control for customising the interface. The view modes menu gives us a two up, as well as a horizontal, vertical or diagonal split. Great for comparing the current grade with our original source. We can also choose to work in full screen mode, which gives us on-screen controls overlaid over a full screen picture. I can also turn off the grading interface, leaving just the controls, which is extremely handy for accurate checking of the scopes. The Hawaii Color interface has been optimised to have the minimum impact on the scopes generally, but you can also use the dim menu options to either dim or turn off either the colour wheels or the side panels at any time. The Blend Mode menu lets you combine the grade with the original shot in a variety of ways and you also have a slider for dialing back the overall grade. And finally, you can fine-tune the sensitivity of the colour wheels for even more fine-grained control than the default settings or for making bolder adjustments. Hopefully, this brief introduction has shown you how much you can do with Hawaii Color. Once you start using it, you'll quickly discover the truly immersive feel that you can only otherwise get by round-tripping to a dedicated grading application. 
Hawaii Color is available through Effects Factory, which means there's a fully functional free trial version that you can experience right now. Thanks for watching.